Hello viewers, this is Freddy again with Freddy Can Fly. In today's video lesson, we are going to cover how to program the Align Governor using a Spectrum DX7 radio. Um, so follow along guys, we're going to get this governor set up. It's a really easy, basic, straightforward governor. Um, and with that being said, let's jump into it and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to go over is how to properly plug in your governor. Now, I'm using a separate receiver. Um, some applications allow you to plug into the governor, if, or not the governor, the fly barless unit, sorry, if they have a governor attachment like the Align 3GX. But I'm choosing to plug it into my receiver, even though I'm still using a fly barless unit. So basically what we want to have happen is we've got our governor mounted here, and we've got our sensor installed. So make sure we've got that done correctly. For more help on this, you can view my... Um, fan magnets install video for further help on that okay now the throttle servo should plug into our governor which are, you can see I have ran and plugged in here now the governor is gonna come through and it's got two leads coming off of it one of your leads need to, needs to plug into the actual throttle channel and that's gonna be the wire that has the red black and white okay now there's also another one for the gain value of the governor and I'm gonna plug that into the gear channel and I will explain to you why we're doing this here shortly so one lead into throttle and then the single yellow wire or whatever color your governor is can go into the gear channel so it can be assigned to a toggle switch to turn it on and off so once you have all of this plugged in or if you do not have it done at this point go ahead and get it plugged in and we're gonna continue on with the governor setup okay so the next thing we want to look at is our radio setup um, and as you recall I had you plug in the single wire into a uh, the gear channel on the receiver and the reason why we do this is if I go into my channel assignments on my radio okay I'm gonna set my auxiliary to for my rudder gyro and I'm gonna make gear equal gear that means that our gear switch will equal the gear channel on the receiver okay um, and on most helis this should work it should allow it I do take in mind I'm using a seven channel transmitter with an eight channel receiver so there are um, certain requirements you're gonna wanna look at obviously with a six channel you'll probably end up plugging um, the governor in somewhere else or, or in a different manner Okay, but with this setup, this is what we're going to do. Aux 2 needs to equal gyro, and gear needs to equal the gear channel. That's about it for the radio setup. Guys, do take into consideration in order for this to work. Before we program the governor, you need to make sure that your throttle linkage is properly set up, and you have done the proper setup in the radio as well as far as the travel adjustments for your high and low throttle because we're going to teach the governor our low throttle and our high and if you haven't done the throttle linkage setup um, you're going to basically improperly program the governor so if you need more help on this please view my throttle linkage setup video and once you have that done we're now ready to continue on with the governor programming okay guys so what we've done here is we've went ahead and powered up the heli and our transmitter okay and at this point in time we should have a green status light on the governor now the first thing we want to do is we want to check to make the, sure that our switch toggle is working so once again I made gear equal gear by plugging it into um, the gear channel on the receiver and also in my radio doing channel assignments so if I come over here to my gear switch You'll notice when I toggle the switch, the light goes red when it's off, and it goes green when it's on. So this gear switch is going to allow you to actually toggle on and off between your governor. As you guys can see that there. So make sure this is working if you choose to use a switch to toggle it on and off. Um, this is the way I prefer to do mine because when you don't want the governor on for starting, you can start it here. You bring it up into your flight modes and you just flip the governor on. Governor activates. Okay. The next thing we're going to look at is we want to make sure that our magnets are properly sensing and the governor is going to be able to clock the magnets properly. And to do this you just need to spin your fan by hand underneath the magnets, um, or sorry, you need to spin the magnets underneath the sensor. And to do this, one magnet 
if you guys uh, installed them properly, and once again, for more help on this, view my magnet install video. But only one of the two magnets on your fan, if your fan has two magnets, should actually turn the light off on that sensor. The other magnet is there strictly for balancing purposes. So you'll notice if I spin my fan here, right about there, you'll notice the light turns off entirely. That's because the magnet is directly underneath the sensor. Now if I continue to rotate the fan, it comes back on. And if I keep rotating it and I keep rotating it, it gets to the other magnet and it does not turn off the light. Now if I keep rotating it again, just to double check, you'll notice that about the other magnet's position, the light comes off again. Okay, so really make sure that this is done right, otherwise your, your governor will not work properly. Okay, this is a must right here. So get this portion done and complete. We know that our light is working, our magnets are sensing, and our on and off switch is working correctly. So after this point, the rest of the setup is very simple. Um, like I stated before, guys, make sure your throttle um, linkage and setup is done correctly because this is going to read off of our travel adjustments, what values we have in there for our high and low throttle. That's what's going to teach this gyro um, how to operate and make its corrections properly. So basically, all we need to do at this point in time is there's a little set button um, within the casing here. Use some sort of a tool. I'm using just a little, little Allen tool. And we're going to depress that button for about three seconds. And this light here should start flashing. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the button for a couple seconds here. Okay. And you can see there that the, the red LED is now flashing. At this point in time, we're going to take our throttle stick and we're going to just move it all the way up to the top right position. Full throttle. And when, when we do this, we should see the light uh, turn on, or turn off, sorry, and then turn back on to let us know that it took our, our corrections properly. So here we go. We're going to throttle all the way up. Light is off. It blinked, and now it's right back on to a solid green status light. That means that we saved our settings properly. We can now throttle all the way down, you know, and check, make sure our governor's working. Our magnets are still sensing. The light's turning on and off. And that's basically all there is to programming the governor, guys. Now, the next thing we'll have to look at is setting up the RPM value. And your governor should have came with some sort of a, a sheet of paper or a reference to tell you how to ballpark your RPMs. Okay. Now, in the travel adjustments menu for gear is what we're going to use to set our values. You'll notice that if I toggle my switch off, we've got the negative value. And when I toggle my switch on, we've got the positive value. Now, obviously, with it being off, we can leave this to minus 100 because the governor's off. It's deactivated. It's not going to matter what that number is set to. When we turn it on, this is the number we're going to use um, to set our RPMs. Now, and in my reference sheet, we're typically going to want to fly at about 1900 to 1950 RPMs. And that's going to set me right around 80, 90 percent. But we never truly know until we get a tack on the head. So um, use your reference sheet to, to make sure you get that number set up right. Make sure our toggle switch is working. And also, uh, also our magnets are sensing properly. Um, and that's about it, guys. That's going to conclude this video tutorial for how to set up the Align Governor. This is the way I choose to do it, and uh, it works pretty well for me. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and remember, Freddy can fly, so can you.